Hello everybody, out at the forge again today. It's hot. So next weekend, we've got one of our biggest shows of the year coming up, it's a four day show. I don't have nearly the number of knives I usually send to it. Just haven't had time to get them done, what with shipping issues and trouble getting materials and such. But today we're gonna go inside, gonna, ha gonna hammer out just a couple of simple blades. Um, when you see them, you'll probably be surprised by how simple they are and they're not gonna look really fancy. But I'll tell you what, one thing I have learned at these shows is there is a certain type of people out there that that's what they want. They want something that looks rough. They want something that looks like it came right out of the Iron Age. And that's what we're gonna try to give them, just a couple of simple little knives. Stick around, let's see what we can come up with. All right, gonna start out with just a piece of W2. And I'm gonna forge it down for the tip. As always, work it from all from three sides to make sure it stays square. Now we're going to set down on the end of the handle, same knife. Going to do something different to add a little interest, interest to this one. And here we have just a little scrap of 1095. And that's actually going to be the end of the handle I'm forging out right now. Now we've got our set down. I'm going to taper the handle back towards what's going to be the blade. This will all make sense in a minute. Got to work that taper in the way I want it. Pretty close. And I need to draw out this handle a little more. Working all four sides, keeping everything flat, keeping everything even. Still not quite satisfied with that taper. Put a little more in. It's probably not bad. A little more taper on this one. I think that'll just about do that one. Now we're gonna hammer in another offset into the handle of the W2 blade. And again, what I'm doing will make sense shortly. Drop in my little tool and offset again. And what I'm doing is forging a horse's head. Curve it down a little bit. You can see the horse's head starting to take shape. That's actually going to be the end of the handle. And for this one, just going to put a little curly cue on the end of the handle, just a little spiral. Not going to put any wood on these knife handles. I'm going to leave the knife handles just straight steel. Now we've got our horse head shape forged out. Horse can't live very long if it doesn't have eyes to see. So, got to punch in eyes on each side. And back in the fire with it. And back to our other little blade. A little gentle curve in that handle. back to our horse. If it has eyes to see, it has to have a nose to breathe. So put in nostrils on each side. Put in our hardy tool and that's the little blade. It's a little too long. I need to nip it off just a bit. 
want a really short little utility blade on it. And there you can see our horse's head and I've chiseled in a mouth. Now we're gonna forge in the blade on the little smaller knife. Forge the tip in a little more, a little more slope on it. And then we'll hammer in the bevels. I know these look simple, but believe me, they sell pretty well. Now we've got to put a mane on our horse and ears, chiseling in ear and then chiseling in some vertical lines for the mane. Oh, drop forged. Let's get this other side. I give him an ear to here and a mane to keep his neck warm. One more chisel mark there for the main on that side. And that'll do for the handle, I do believe. Now I've got a mark where we're going to do the blade. Now we can draw out our bevels. one side then the other make sure you keep it centered make that handled blade transition a little more a little more delineated tap out hammer marks make sure everything stays centered I believe that's going to do just fine. Work in our distal taper. Make sure everything's straight. Yeah, no, nah, it needs a little. There we go. Got to adjust a little bit. Need to put a little curve in that handle. I wasn't satisfied with it straight. I believe that's going to do just fine. All right. So we've got those finished. And in keeping with the theme of them being, you know, super old fashioned, historic, I didn't bother with the oven. I ran them through a good normalization cycle, uh, hardened them, and then I flame tempered them. You've seen me do that in previous videos. And we've got them finished up. Well, except for a final sharpening. So blade number one, just a simple little knife. Looks like it could just spend its day hanging out in the bag of a late Iron Age hunter um, or something for use in the household. And knife number two is the horse head pommel and just a wide, Fairly short, wide, general purpose blade. Just a little rough convex polish on it. It's gonna be a good little cutter. Somebody will definitely have to have these because like I said, not everybody wants fancy and shiny. Some people want it to look like it was dragged up out of a, uh, a, a bog from the late Iron Age and polished up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and God bless.